Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video once again and in today's video I'm going to be discussing about what I'm looking forward to with the Russell T Davis era, the second Russell T Davis era to be more specific. And yeah, I am heavily anticipating this new era. I am still looking forward to the last two episodes of the current era, but I am heavily anticipating the second era of Russell D. Davis because he is, in my opinion, such a fantastic writer. And personally, I do love the original Russell T. Davis era over the Moffat and Chibnall eras, respectively. Like, I do love them both as well, but overall, I would have to pick the RTD era out of the three of them. I am going to say that, yeah, they are my favourites personally, but I can understand why people would love the other two as well. So, yeah, the first thing I want to say that I'm looking forward to with the new Russell T. Davis era is strong character development because I felt like that's something that the um, Chris Chibnall era has been lacking a lot. Um, yeah, where I haven't really felt that connected to the characters. Like the most recent character that I felt connected to in the Chibnall era, or the two actually, are Yaz and Dan. I'm going to say that straight away. With Graham, I did feel like, yeah, in Series 11, I did connect with his character. But then in Series 12 and the Revolution of the Daleks and, uh, well, from Resolution, Series 12 and Revolution of the Daleks, I, I, he, he just felt a little bit like a spare part, if I'm being completely honest. It felt like his character arc was done in Series 11 and he didn't really serve much purpose to the TARDIS team. And with Ryan as well, I was really digging his character in series 11 and then yeah by the end of that series and then going into series 12 I didn't really have a lot of hope for the character of Ryan either and this also goes to a lot of the um, casts featured in the various episodes as well whether it be one-off cast or anything like that I just haven't really connected to a lot of the characters um, and with the Russell T Davis era there are plenty of memorable one-off characters that I do hope we get sort those sort of uh, characteristics and memorable lines and stuff like that in the new era. And Russell T. Davis has proven as well that he's good at, at writing brilliant characters in his show since, such as Years and Years, It's a Sin. He has done so well when it comes to writing characters and doing fulfilling character arcs. And speaking of arcs story arcs yes big huge storylines that you know often are like the the big goal for a series is to have a really good story arc so uh with the russell t davis era we have the bad wolf story arc torchwood the master returning and davros so yeah a lot of things have um been set up throughout series one to series four and they all connect pretty well as well so that's something I'm looking forward to uh, going back to. Some storylines are less complicated. I, I felt like the Stephen Moffat ones were sometimes a little bit all over the place. Like, I loved the Matt Smith one. I mean, yeah, there were a couple of plot holes, but I loved the whole silent story arc that eventually concluded with the Time Lords coming back. I thought that was pretty cool. But then we had the hybrid story arc and the vault thing in Series 10. I didn't really enjoy those personally. Um, and then, yeah, the Chibnall era is really only the Timeless Child that has kind of been all over the place, personally. Um, I was really ready to give it a go, um, and was enjoying parts of it, but then Doc 2 Flux happened, and I kind of think, are we going to get a resolution to it, or is it going to be like the hybrid story arc? So, yeah, um, that's why I'm looking forward to the Russell T. Davis era. So, yeah. And then the final thing I want to say as, as well is memorable episodes. Um, this isn't necessarily a criticism to any of the eras that have come since the Russell T. Davis era, but I am looking forward to the way those episodes were formatted, in a sense, or put together. And there were so many, again, incredible actors, incredible settings, and incredible stories that could have be finished and wrapped up in one episode and you felt fulfilled you know there's really good standalone stories like one-off stories uh, midnight was one uh, we had turn left that i loved love and monsters as well i know a lot of people don't like that episode but i personally did and i've got to say 
I'm looking forward to having some memorable one-off episodes again. So, I know that one's not necessarily an improvement that I'm really wanting because it's not necessarily an improvement. It's just the memorable episodes that were kind of akin to what was in the Russell T. Davis era to start off with. Maybe have more episodes in that style where it's okay, we can have more better standalone stories than episodes that pay off later on retrospectively. So I am looking forward to that as well. But yeah, with that being said, thank you very much for all the support on this video. If you are new around here, be sure to subscribe for more nerdy content as we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, which I would love to reach by the end of this year. But yeah, I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for all the support and goodbye for now.